Hello, Wendy. How are you doing, Wendy? Hello. Hello, teacher. I checked your your scores in the platform. Everything is okay. I checked them and also I updated. Okay. Ya le actualicé su calificación y todo está bien. Sí, ya, ya entraron las tres calificaciones. Y ahorita y ya tiene ya tiene hecha parte de la de la tarea cuatro, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. Solo me falta la de ayer y la de ahora. Perfecto, sí. Ajá. Ya la actualicé la suya para, para que todo vaya bien. Ah, ok, gracias. Sí, sí. no hay problema, Wendy. Sí, porque muy feo quedar con más récord ahí. Exacto. Pero gracias por ponerse al día. Okay. Sí, es que me ha tocado bien pesado, mira aquí. Han pasado un montón de cosas ahí en la oficina, entonces tenía que estar pendiente de todo. Gente que se ha ido de recibir los puestos. Entonces, sí me ha tocado así como. Pesado. Uh -huh. Entonces, y como le digo que allá la señal es malísima, malísima, uh -huh. porque yo estoy allá en, en Huizuca. Oh. Entonces, prácticamente estoy como en una montaña. O sea, uh -huh. entonces la señal es malísima ahí. Ok. Uh -huh. Pero esperemos, ya ahorita este, este curso finaliza el viernes. Ya vamos a estar más tranquilos, va a descansar un tiempo y luego otra vez echarle ganas. Sí, sí, ahí vamos lentos, pero seguros. Sí, la idea es no dejar, ¿verdad? De esforzarse. Sí, gracias. Uh -huh. La idea es no dejar de esforzarse, Wendy. Sí. Ok, hello everyone. Everyone is coming in. Great. Hello, Carlos Alberto. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? I'm fine. Great. Um, Great. What about you, Giovanni? How are you doing? I'm fine, teacher. Great. Hello. Hello, Giovanni Pineda. Hey, good night. Uh, good, good evening. Ah, good evening. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I thought you were going to sleep. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah, there yeah. we are. El cansancio. <laughs> yeah, almost, <laughs> almost, yes. Okay, guys, I think we are going to start uh, the class. I'm going to um, uh, let you to do an exercise, okay? Because we had an exercise from yesterday that we didn't do. So it is in page 42 in our manuals. I would like you to start with that and let's try to work this exercise as a group, okay? Cuando ya estén más, eh, bueno, cuando ya hayan más estudiantes adentro, empiezo con la lista y luego voy a, a dar unas indicaciones, okay? Bien, comencemos entonces. Let's start with this thing. Let me share the screen for you. And you can see page 42 in your manuals. Page 42. Okay, this was the idea from yesterday. Okay, we have to order the words to create sentences and questions about scheduled activities, okay? Scheduled activities, we know that we have a date, time, and also who is the responsible to do that, right? A subject, let's say a subject. So in this case, let's read the example. We have to Dallas, you going to, when, arrive, are, and then, Mm -hmm. Because we have a word of information question, in this case, WH word, when, then we assume this is a question, right? And then they, I mean, unscramble these, uh, these words. The question 
stays like, when are you going to arrive to Dallas? Okay. We put in order all these words. When are you going to arrive to Dallas? So now let's see number two and let's put in order all these words. Are a reservation that you going to for conference room make. You are going to a reservation for the conference room. Okay. Yes. You are going to, um, to what you told me? What did you say, Carlos? You are sir? going to make uh -huh. a reservation. Mm -hmm. Uh, the conference room. You are going to make a reservation for for uh, for, okay. for the mm -hmm. conference room. There we are. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, here we could do this in two ways because we could do it as an affirmative sentence that you are going to do it. Or we could ask, are you going to make a reservation for the conference room? Okay, if we write it in the question. Okay, si lo escribe con una, como una pregunta, siempre recuerde que se le tomará bueno si al final escribe el signo de interrogación, the question mark. Okay, for example, como sería en pregunta. Are you going? Yes, correct. Are you going to make a reservation for the conference room? Okay, it will be correct if you add the question mark, okay? Now, number three, let's see for number three, what is the sentence here. I'm uh, going to. Mm -hmm. um, going to wake up, call. A wake up, call. Call. Okay, voy a ir escribiendo como me lo digan, right? Wake up, call, uh -huh. for, for a request, mm -hmm. 5 a.m. Mm. Okay, what do you think, guys? Does it make sense? No. No, I'm going to request. Great. Request is the main verb here, okay? Wake up seems like a verb, okay? Sí se ve como un verbo, ¿verdad? Wake up. Pero en realidad, en este caso, wake up call, wake up se está convirtiendo en un nombre, ¿verdad? Entonces, we'll say, I'm going to request uh -huh, for a wake up call. Okay. Uh, oh. I'm sorry, for no, for, 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 for. I'm going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m., right? Is it okay? Does it make sense? I'm going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m., okay? There we are. Next, number four. Subject. 
Miss Turcio. Is going to going going to to check out check out tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Okay, Miss Turcio is going to check out tomorrow. Okay, there you are. Period. Excellent. Number five. Maintenance team. Maintenance team. Going to a conference. Okay, let's remember that to be verb here is is. It's is. Going to. Okay. Going uh -huh. Attend. Going. Attend. Conference. Conference on October. 10. The conference. The to the uh, the con the, con the conference. A conference. Okay, let's see. Conference. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. On October. 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 The thing. Great. I think you found a way to, I mean, a place for this that, right? So in this case, they are referring to the maintenance team, okay? The maintenance team here. There we are. Okay. Is it okay, everyone? Let's try number six. Miss Diaz is going to who need no smoking room. Miss Diaz is going to need a non smoking room. Okay, there you are. Great, Entre la ropa. Great guys. Hey everyone, go for your clothes. <laughs> yeah. Hello everyone, how are you doing? We were waiting for you. Okay, just let me erase this. Take your answers and I'm going to erase one, two, and three. And I'm going to stop sharing. Now let's start with the attendance list now. Please turn on your cameras and also say present when you hear your name. Okay, Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana del Carmen. Okay, there you are. Ana del Carmen. Okay, there you are. Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Present teacher. Okay. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Daniel, are you there? Yeah. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Giovanni, 
Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present teacher. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Le mandó un mensaje, creo, de WhatsApp. Yes, you're right. You're right. Okay. Thank you. Nancy Betova Rivera. Nancy, are you there? Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Thank you. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Ana Delmi Herrera. Morales. Present teacher. There you are, thank you. Present teacher. Okay, Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Well, I think he's not. And Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Silvio Enrique Cortez Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, people. Now I'm going to switch into Spanish. Y vamos a hablar un poquito acerca de que ya recibimos el, el horario de la encuesta. Okay. Todos los que están debidamente inscritos con INSAFOR, bueno, todos están inscritos con INSAFOR, pero hay algunos de ustedes que están eh, inscritos que solo reciben el, um, el diploma de inglés corporativo. Entonces, para los que tomaron el curso de esa manera, eh, no es necesario que presenten la encuesta de satisfacción. Ok, para los que, bueno, manejan el término oyentes, sin embargo, o sea, es un estudiante con todas las de la ley lo único que no recibe diploma de INSAFORP, sino que el diploma de inglés corporativo. No es necesario que haga esa encuesta de satisfacción. Si usted recibió el link, ¿ok? Eh, si usted recibió el link y es oyente o de inglés corporativo, este, no se preocupe, no lo tiene que realizar el día de que estemos acá. Sin embargo, si sí requerimos su presencia, ¿verdad? Si sí requerimos que estén presentes ese día. El horario que nos toca a nosotros, por, eh, nos ponen un horario porque nos asignan una persona de soporte técnico que está al pendiente de cualquier situación que pueda ocurrir en el momento pues que estamos enviando y haciendo nuestras, nuestra encuesta, ¿verdad? Y es necesario un soporte técnico porque es una cuestión online, ¿verdad? Entonces... Eh, por esa razón nos dan un horario. El horario es 9 y 20 para nosotros, ¿ok? Esperamos no tardarnos más de unos 10 a 15 minutos, ¿verdad? Para poder finalizar nuestra clase y cubrir todos los contenidos, ¿verdad? Para ese día prácticamente ya nos queda solamente el vocabulary practice de la unidad número 4. Ahora bien, ese día... Tienen que quedar hechas todas las tareas de la unidad 4 en la plataforma, ¿ok? Así que les suplico que vayan haciéndolas día con día para que no se les vaya a acumular, porque también tienen que hacer el examen final ese día, ¿ok? Ese día ustedes realizan el examen final, no se realiza en presencia aquí. Sí lo podríamos revisar si ustedes quisieran, pero no lo podemos realizar acá. Usted solito lo va a hacer y se va a autoevaluar. Y luego lo va a enviar, ¿verdad? Cubre todos los temas del de curso, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Qué más me falta? Eh, bueno, de la asistencia, estarán recibiendo un email. A todos les han estado llamando cada vez que ustedes no se presentan y, y pues algunos por razones de trabajo no han contestado y eso, pero me han manifestado las razones a mí. Se ha colocado en, en, en las observaciones, ¿verdad? De, de las asistencias. 
pero a los que les hace falta para llegar ¿verdad? a ese porcentaje estarán recibiendo un uh, mensaje, ¿verdad? Ya sea de, par pues de parte mía, definitivamente la van a recibir. Eh, espero poder hacerlo ahora al finalizar la clase. Eh, para que, por favor, el día de mañana y el día viernes no vayan a faltar en lo más mínimo y procurar entrar. Voy a abrir la sesión eh, unos cinco minutos antes para que se conecten desde ese momento. Y pues todos son bienvenidos a conectarse antes de la hora para que podamos también resolver, resolver las dudas que hayan quedado para aquellos que no pudieron tener su sesión uno a uno, ¿verdad? Entonces voy a estar abierta unos minutitos antes. A ver, otra cosa. Eh, por favor, el día que vamos a hacer la encuesta, si usted viene después de la hora, eh, póngale, ya es bastante avanzada la hora que nos dan, ¿verdad? No hay y gracias a Dios, cuando nos han puesto a las ocho eh, y algo, pues sí, muchos están todavía entrando, pero si por A o por B motivo usted entrara después de que ya se ha finalizado ese momento, usted siempre va a realizar esa, esa encuesta. Lo único que no la vamos a realizar aquí, ¿verdad? Nosotros podemos hacerlo después de la clase para no interferir en, en la continuidad del tema. O este, eh, más bien eso, después de la clase yo con todo gusto voy a retomar la situación para que podamos hacer ese, esa encuesta, ¿verdad? Para los que por A o por B motivo hayan entrado después de esa hora. Considero que no, no va a suceder acá, pero lo tengo que decir para que todos estemos en sintonía, ¿ok? Bien, ¿alguna pregunta acerca de todo este movimiento de finalización de curso? ¿No preguntas? ¿No? ¿Estamos entendidos, debidamente informados? ¿Les ha dicho todo la teacher claro? Yes, teacher. Ok, perfecto, perfecto. Ok, then let's start the class for today. Ok. Uh, yesterday we were talking about how to make a reservation in a hotel. When we go to a different place, when we go to a different city, we don't know where the places are. For example, if we need to go to a supermarket and you don't know where the supermarket is located, you need some vocabulary to ask in English, right? You need some vocabulary how to uh, request this information. And it's important for us to understand the vocabulary, uh, in this case, um, for giving and asking for directions, okay? How to get to a place. So the, the topic for today is imperatives, okay? Imperatives. But we're going to study this in the context of moving around in a city, okay? Lo vamos a ver en el contexto, los imperativos lo vamos a ver en el contexto de dando y pidiendo direcciones para llegar a algún lugar. Sé que este es un tema que a los salvadoreños nos cuesta tanto Quizás más a las mujeres, ¿verdad? Nos cuesta mucho, mucho, mucho ubicarnos, right? Ubicarnos y decir la dirección clara, ¿ok? Decir cómo llegar. Vamos manejando. ¡Ay, ya, ya era! ¿Ok? Bueno, vamos a dar la vuelta completa. ¿Ok? Sí, sé que es un tema muy difícil para nosotros y vamos a hacer un doble esfuerzo, ¿verdad? Porque vamos a ordenar un poco esto. Vamos a ordenar un poco... Eh, el vocabulario tanto en nuestro cerebro hispano, ¿verdad? Para poder entender el cerebro ya que estamos manejando, ¿verdad? De inglés. Vamos a ver. Ok, now let's continue and let's go to business. Let's go back to business. Let me go here. Sometimes it's so difficult when you ask for directions or request for direct directions about maybe an ATM 
or maybe you want to get to a supermarket or maybe to the hospital. If you've got an accident or something, you need a hospital or a doctor, right? A doctor, a clinic. You need uh, uh, to find that place. And it's so uh, depressing, frustrating uh, not to get the correct directions, okay? At the first time. Y muchas veces no es porque no nos dan las direcciones exactas, o que no nos dan, sino que porque no ponemos atención. Se han fijado ustedes, le están diciendo, si sí, vaya, camine para allá, dos cuadras más para allá, entonces usted ahí está al lado derecho, oye, no se va, y uno va buscando y va buscando al lado izquierdo, ok? Entonces, Muchas veces no pone cuántas cuadras dijo, cuántas, ya pasé una, no me fijé. Entonces es por no poner atención muchas veces, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a ver, yo sé que aquí todos somos buenos dando directions, ¿ok? Ahorita los vamos a ver, ¿ok? Ahorita los vamos a ver cómo dan las direcciones en español y cómo damos las direcciones en inglés. Ok, people. The topic for today is how to use imperatives. How to use imperatives. The video conference is video conference number 18. And today is July the 28th of 2021. Our agenda is the feedback. That was the written exercise that we did already when we started, when we just got in. And I'm going to present the objective for this class. Then we are going to practice a dialogue. Then we are going to have a short briefing about imperatives, given and asking directions, for directions. And then we are going to do a little role play. The session one-on-one -on -one for today is uh, Giovanni's turn, okay? Giovanni is going to be your turn after class, your 10 minutes to any question that you have, okay. any opinion that you want to give. Okay, Giovanni? Okay. Great. Now, let's see the objective for tonight. The objective is that you, because you are the class, will be able to use the imperatives to give directions to others to get to important sites in your city, okay? You are going to be able to use the imperatives to give directions to others to get to important sites in your city. Do you see here a little map? What place is this pointing? What place? Do you know that place? Have you ever been there? Paseo del Carmen? Yes. Have you ever been there? Do you like Paseo del Carmen? Do you know that place? Yes. Yes. No, did yes, I do, but I don't remember how to get there. Okay, no problem. I'm not going to ask, <laughs> ask for that. I'm not going to ask for that. Pero mi pregunta sería, how can I get to Paseo El Carmen? If I am in Santa Tecla, the address or the directions that you are going to give me are based on the place where I am located when I request for that information, right? Todo va a depender siempre del lugar de donde yo estoy en ese momento, ¿ok? Todo el lenguaje que vamos a utilizar va dependiendo de la postura, perdón, de la posición o locación, perdón, del de hablante, ¿verdad? Tanto del que está recibiendo la información como el que está dando la información. Ahora bien, if I ask, how can I get to Paseo El Carmen? And I am located in El Café Talón, ¿ok? Do you know, ¿quién conoce Santa Tecla? A ver, levanten la mano. <laughs> Everybody raise your hand. People who knows or who lives in Santa Tecla. Ok, there you are. Uh -huh. Raise your hand. Ok. But do you know El Café Talón, where it is, where, where is located El Café Talón? Do you know where it is? Do you know El Café Talón? ¿Alguna vez han ido ahí? 
No? Repasado el frente. Yes, teacher. In bicycle clubs. Okay. Okay. The thing is that imagine that you are located in el café talón, okay? And you don't know. You don't know how to get to El Paseo El Carmen and you want to go over there. Maybe it's in the evening, right? It's kind of dark. So you don't know where, what the way to get to Paseo El Carmen. Then you ask someone. Antes era bien característico que buscábamos a alguien confiable, ¿verdad? Para preguntarle. Mire, ¿cómo llego ahí al Paseo del Carmen? Me buscábamos una persona. Ahora, ten, 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 we have our handy cell phone. Waze, right? Waze. <laughs> yeah. We have those kind Google of maps. maps. Yes, Google Maps. And how good are you at reading Google Maps? How good are you at, um, yeah, reading? these maps. ¿Qué tan buenos son ustedes leyendo los mapas? How good are you <laughs> at reading maps? Well, I'm not yeah, yeah, yeah. good. I, I'm, hey, I'm, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm honest. I'm not so good at reading maps. Okay. But there are some clues, right? There are some clues that can guide us how to get to the place. Hay muchas pistas donde nosotros nos podemos ubicar como para ir dando eh, con el lugar, ¿verdad? Okay, but for example, let's ask Carlos Alberto, how good are you reading maps? At reading maps? Yes. Are you good at it? Uh, a real, this map? Uh, any maps, any map. How good are you at reading maps? Mm. I learn. <laughs> I learn real maps. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. okay. I have okay. a reference point in the aduana, no sé cómo se dice. A um, border. Um, uh, this the border office administration of yeah borders. Yeah, borders. Uh, I'm going to say the word. Say the word. I know the word. I know the word. Okay, uh, it's going to come up to me. Okay. The floor uh, on the door declined in San Pedro Sula. Oh, okay. All is is very easy. Well, okay. Then ten location the or poly preference. Okay. Okay. So I think, um, I mean, you think you are good at reading maps? Sorry? Uh, bye. Cuando yo les pregunto, are you good at reading maps? Um, Estoy preguntándole, ¿usted es bueno para leer mapas? Yes. ¿No le cuesta? Nope. Oh, great. Then you are going to be our teacher tonight <laughs> because I'm not so, well, I'm not that good at reading maps. But let's see. One second. Let's ask Karina. How good? I mean, are you good at reading maps? <laughs> no, I know. Your face told us Sarah thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about you, Juan Carlos? Are you good at reading maps? Mm, no, I not. No? Okay. Please, everyone, everyone who drives, everyone who drives, raise your hand. Do you use maps or the Waze application to get to any place? No. You don't? Yes. 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 No. yes. Okay, great. Great. Yes, ways. Okay, very good. 
Very good. Porque antes el Waze era la señora de la tortilla, de la tortillería que estaba en la calle, ¿verdad? Le preguntaba, mire, de aquí más o menos cuánto falta. <laughs> right? Sí. But now we have these applications and it's so nice to have them, yeah, even for those who don't, uh, I mean, who don't know how to read a map. It have, I mean, it has, I'm sorry, it has, it provides with directions. Do you see here? directions and also these applications you just uh, click on start and it takes you right it takes you and you are just following the um the lead mark that it's going through the map and then you are just driving okay now here okay now yeah i turn to the left and i turn to i mean i take this right and then i go down the street then i go straight to the next block for example, okay, then I got to the bank, something like that. Yeah, these applications now are very useful. Useful. Pero siempre es necesario, verdad, que aprendamos este vocabulario. So let's go to the vocabulary. Let's start with these words. Okay. Street. Street. Is a way where the cars are going on, right? And when pe where people can walk too, right? So avenue, the same a street, even though the direction is not the same, right? Streets are, are like this and avenues are like this. So block, block is a group, okay? The group or the limits for the group of houses or buildings in a city, right? Then roundabout, roundabout, roundabout. This is a cir circular, I mean, it's a circle, mm, a traffic circle, yeah? Where you can take any exit, you can take any entrance, right? So people who come this way is just rounding, yeah? So yeah, roundabout, roundabout. Um, let's see, traffic light, traffic light. What are the, the colors of a traffic light? What are the colors of a traffic light? Well, red, red, yellow, orange, green, uh, orange, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no orange, <laughs> yellow. Okay, yellow, yeah, uh -huh. yellow, yellow, green, and red. Orange, no, we don't have orange, even though we can see it like un amarillito diferente, right? But no, it's in, yellow. In Spanish, yes, naranja. <laughs> oh, really? Well, I know what in Spanish yes. also como amarillo, okay? Okay, then we have next, east, east, east. Then we have west, west north and south, okay? East, west, north, and south. Oriente, poniente, norte, y sur, right? East, west, north, and south. Okay, abbreviations, abbreviations for street. It is ST, okay? This is the abbreviation. Avenue, it's A, V, E, and a dot, right? Well, in this case, it's a period, period, yeah. I think those are the, the only ones, yeah. Because usually here we use N for North and S for South, but it's not so usual, right? Then street and avenue. Okay, let's continue. Do you have any question about these words? Do you have any question about these words? Uh, roundabout is uh, un redondel. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yes, Thank sir. You. Okay. Teacher, a mm -hmm. block. Block. Cuadra. Yes. Ah, cuadra. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay, there you are. Mm -hmm. Are we okay with these words? 
Yes, teacher, yes, we are. Teacher. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Now we are going to um, stop sharing this and we are going to the manual, manual. Then to give directions, guys, we need, we need to learn the prepositions of place. Some prepositions do, right? Some prepositions that are very important when we give directions. Now, let me share the screen with you and we go to page 43 in our manuals, okay? Where? So let's share here. Someone is sending a message here. One second. Okay. Okay, Salim. Okay. Okay, there you are. Thank you. So these are the prepositions we are going to learn tonight, just to add to our vocabulary for tonight that it is giving and asking for directions, okay? Prepositions of place. Okay, let's see these two, let's say boxes or buildings, right? This is one next to the other, okay? One next to the other. They are next, okay? Next, next. También pueden encontrar esta preposición como beside, okay? Beside, next to, beside. Okay. Okay. Next to, so for example, my hand, right? Then my hand is next to my other hand, right? Next, beside, they are right one beside to the other, okay? Now let's see this one. We have the street right here and maybe I am standing right in the other side of the street. Then I can say in front of, okay? In front of, for example, my hands. I'm going to put my hand, okay? Look, my hand, and then I put the other, okay? In front of, they are frente con frente, ¿verdad? In front of, in front of in front of, en frente de. Now we have three things here, okay? Here's my face. I have one hand here, I have the other hand here, okay? My face is between my hands, okay? My face or my head is between my hands, okay? So let's see here, the buildings. This building is between this and this, let's place letter letters to these buildings, okay? For example, this is letter A, this is letter C, and this is letter B, okay? So C is between A and B, okay? Correct? Are we okay with this? Between, between. Between. Between, yes. Now we have the street right here. We have the street and we have, okay, two things. One is in front of, in front of the other one, okay? But this place between those, that it is a street, then we call it across the street, across, the street, across the street. So you have to cross the street. 
to get to the other place, right? Across sí. the street. Teacher, también se puede utilizar opposite. Opposite, yes. Yes, correct. Opposite. You can also, if it is across the street, okay, and well, there is a street, okay, then you can use also in front of, okay, in front of. You can use also opposite, yeah. Just giving an idea about the location of that place. Now, let's see. Across the street means that you have to cross the street. Yeah. One second, I have to move this a little. Okay, now we go, I'm going to erase this. We have around the corner. Around the corner means that you have to, you have to take this place. Around means that you walk down or up the street and then you cross, right? Or you turn, you turn. So that's around the corner, around the corner. Now we have another, okay? En, en esto quizás vamos a tener un poquito de discrepancia, pero eh, la cuestión es que para ustedes probablemente, cuando yo digo derecha, creo que ustedes dicen izquierda, ¿verdad? De acuerdo a cómo me miran, right? Okay, but on the right, on the left, on the right, on the left. If you do it with your own hands, it's better for you to understand. You use your right hand, the hand, I mean, the one that you used to write, okay? Right, yeah, on the right. We could say also on the right side. We could say on the right sidewalk, okay? On the right, on the left, on the left. Now, down the street, down the street. Uh, en esta, nosotros, eh, Entendemos muchas veces, voy a dejar de compartir un momentito, because I want to see you all. Ok, por ejemplo, nosotros en español cuando decimos camine para abajo, dice uno, ¿verdad? Híjole, caminar para abajo, uno entiende que hay una forma diferente del terreno, ¿verdad? Que va a caminar hacia abajo. Ahora, que va a caminar hacia arriba? Ok, entonces ha de haber una pendiente ahí, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que tenemos en concepto usualmente. Pero también tenemos el otro concepto, ¿ok? De going down or going up es dependiendo de la dirección que usted traiga. ¿Ok? Si, por ejemplo, la vía es doble sentido, ¿ok? Usted tiene que ubicar a la persona, ¿verdad? Si va para abajo, ¿ok? O si va para arriba. Dependiendo de... de la actitud, no, la actitud, la locación del, del que está pidiendo la información y el otro. Ahora, en inglés, en English, what we understand for down the street or up, going up the street, is how far, how far is this play from the exit of that street, okay? How far is the place that you are looking for uh, is next I mean, how far is from the exit? How far this place is from the exit? En los estados, bueno, los que han estado allá ven que hay muchas salidas, ¿verdad? Que okay, si no tomo esta salida, oh. es un problema, ¿verdad? Entonces, going up or going down, it depends on how far you are from that exit, okay? Donde finaliza o donde termina esa, esa calle. Okay. No necesariamente porque esté en pendiente o porque esté en bajada, ¿verdad? No, no es exactamente por eso, porque ese es nuestro concepto, lo aclaro, ¿ok? For example, guys, ok, to understand this, to understand this. Vámonos al Paseo General Escalón, ¿ok? Let's go to Paseo General Escalón. And you want to get to the uh, Promericas, okay? Promerica, 
Do you know where Primerica is in Paseo General Escalón? Everybody's thinking. Primerica, Primerica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Nope. <laughs> No, no remember, teacher. Okay, do you remember El Salvador del Mundo? Okay. Do you remember? Yes. yes. Okay, when you are going to take Paseo General take Escalón, Paseo General okay, is in the first, then the second block, you are going to find, find uh, Promérica, I think. No, Sala Niña Fer. Near La Sagrada, creo que está ahí, right? Near La Sagrada. It's, ne it's not next to but it's across the street, yeah? If you take, um, okay, I'm I'm coming up, I'm going up the street, yeah? From El Salvador del Mundo. Then the first block, second block, then you are going to find Banco Promerica, Promerica Bank. Do you get it? Do you remember? I lost. <laughs> Are you lost? Okay, El Salvador del Mundo. The American Bank is near Orchidal. Uh, Where? Or, or the other, or other Promerica. Okay, yeah, there are there there is another. I think it, it is uh, in the other exit. But no. Uh, okay. We're okay. we're going up the street. Okay, from El Salvador del Mundo. Yeah. Coming from El Salvador del Mundo, where is Promerica located? How can I get to Promerica if I am, El I am in El Salvador del Mundo? I know your answer. I know your answer, guys. Me dijeron, fíjate que yo no soy de por aquí, no. Pregúntele ahí al, al vigilante, right? <laughs> you get it? Yeah, got you, guys. Got you. ¿Verdad que sí nos cuesta un poco dar las direcciones? ¿Sí? Ok. Era nada más para demostrar okay, que tenemos que organizar y ordenar el pensamiento en cuanto a conceptos. Cómo es hacia arriba, cómo es hacia abajo, cómo es al oriente, cómo es al poniente, porque no lo manejamos nosotros. Okay? Muchas veces ni siquiera sabemos qué número de calle estamos, ¿verdad? Porque no tenemos esa cultura. So, Partiendo de ahí, ordenemos un poquito el asunto, ¿ok? Ordenemos un poquito el asunto y regresemos a donde estábamos en el manual. Porque ahorita nos corresponde, ¿ok? Take turns and read the directions, ¿ok? We use the, the, we use the to be verb to, to demonstrate is or are, depending of the plural or singular, right, of that place. But for example, if I ask, how can I get to, to the airport, okay? How can I get to the airport? How can I get to the airport? Yeah, our, our minds, I mean, our brains, right? Because you don't know where I'm located. Entonces, ubiquémonos de dónde está primero. Empecemos ordenando el asunto. Let's think. Where are you located? Right? Si no estamos frente a frente, right? Where are you located? Empecemos desde el principio. No, ¿Se fijaron ahorita cuando les dije yo? Vaya, díganme dónde está. Vámonos allá al Paseo General Escalón. Híjole, uno se fue hasta allá alrededor del Maferrer, vea. Otro se fue hasta El Salvador del Mundo. Otro se fue ahí a la mitad donde está Taco Bell, ¿verdad? Otro estuvo en galerías porque esa es su referencia, ¿ok? Entonces, ubiquemos desde el principio. Let's put this in order. So, if I ask, how can I get to the airport, ¿ok? And I'm located in El Hermano Lejano, ¿ok? Ah, so yeah, we have an order, right? Now you see, oh yeah, you can get this street, right? Right ahead, right ahead, and you are going to get to the point, right? You don't have to turn to any, not left, not right, just go on, right? Go on and you are going to get to the airport, okay? Go on. Entonces, vemos que tenemos que ordenar la eh, idea para poder empezar a dar la Entonces, vámonos 
al mapita que tenemos en el. I was trying to share. Si lo miran. Sí, pues sí. There we have a little map. Okay. Let me put this thing right. And there are some places and the description of the location is given by these sentences that you are seeing here, okay? I'm going to move just a little more to get it right. Okay, and the instruction here says, take turns and read the directions. Your partner will label the places, the map. Okay, en este caso lo vamos a hacer todos juntos. We are going to work together and you are going to write the name or where is the location of that place. We are going to label the places. Okay, aquí están las etiquetas, the labels. Okay, and here is the example. Let's see the example. The hotel is across the street. The hotel is across the street. Okay, here is the hotel. Is across the street. Yeah, across the street. What does it mean? Ah, maybe the person who's talking, right, is right here. Could be, right? It could be. So let's think about. The gas station is around the corner. The gas station is around the corner. Uh -huh. A ver quién quiere entrar a anotar dónde está la gasolinera. The gas station is around the corner. Okay, yeah, because the hotel was our reference, right? So this one, excellent. You think you can write the name of the place? Can you uh, write? Thank you, thank you very much guys. Gas station, great. Now the bank is next to the gas station, next to the gas station. Great. Okay. Next one, it says, the ATM is down the street on the right. Great, great. Okay, and now the restaurant is down the street on the left. Okay, good. Great, like this. So <clears throat> we're going to read the sentences, okay? Could you please read the number one, Carlos Eduardo? The number one. Yes. The hotel is across the street. Okay, the hotel, the hotel. Excuse me, the hotel. Okay is across the street. Thank you very much, Carlos. Next one, Annie, please. The gas station is at all the corner. Thank you very much. Let's try to make just one S here. Tratemos de hacer solo una S, gas station, gas station, okay? There you are, gas station is around the corner, great. Next one, please, Carlos Alberto. The bank is next to the gas station. Thank you. 
Raquel, please, next one. That ITN is on the street on the right. Great. Next one, please, Nancy. The restaurant is down the street on the left. Great. Thank you. I'm going to erase this. Wiggles. Okay, one second. There we go. Okay, now we go to the imperatives. Okay. What is an imperative, guys? When do we use an imperative? We use an imperative phrase or sentence when we want to give an order, for example, give an instruction. In this case, we are giving directions and we want that the other person do what I'm saying her or him to do, okay? That's an imperative. So let's see, <clears throat> let's see here, okay? Let's see here. This is part of the vocabulary, okay? Go straight, go straight. Go straight. It means you don't have to turn to any side, okay? You just go straight, yeah? Go past, go past. There is a place and the one that you are going, go past the church, go past the bank, go past the supermarket, and then you are going to get to the place you are going or to the building you are looking for, okay? Go past. Now, turn left, turn left. Turn left, well, we know, right? Our hand, left hand, then that's the direction we are gonna take. Turn right, okay? Opposite is turn right. You have to turn, okay? Hacer una vuelta, okay? So let's see this one. Go up or go down the street. Go up or go down the street. Now let's see. Walk down the street. Walk down the street. This is if the person is not driving, right? The person is walking. Yeah. What if the person is going in a motorcycle? What if the person is going on a in a motorcycle? Are we using go? Yeah, you can use go, but you can use ride down, okay? Right. Ride down, like in a bike, right? Like on a bike, it will be ride, down the street, walk down the street. Okay, go on for two blocks. Go on for two blocks. Then you count the first block, the second block, then the place is right there and the second block. Take the first left or take the first right. Take the first left or take the first right what it means that you are going to find some others right some other streets where you can make a turn right so yes take the first left okay this is the first place where i can turn left right i'm, I'm sorry turn left and then this is the first place where i can make this turn to the right okay do the phrases above have a subject do the phrases about have a subject? Tienen sujeto estas oraciones. 
Do they have a subject? No. No. Okay, no. So imperatives don't take any subject, okay? It's just an order. It's, um, it takes only the verb in the base form, okay? And the complement, whatever you wanna say someone do, okay? Someone does, I'm sorry. So use a verb without a personal pronoun, an imperative in this case, because it doesn't have a subject. And also you are going to use a verb in the base form to give directions, okay? So we use imperatives to give directions. We use imperatives to give directions. We use imperatives to give directions. Directions. Okay. Let me stop here. Nine oh four. So I'm going to take the attendance, guys. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Present. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present teacher. Kevin Antonio Ramirez Sánchez. Present María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Iveto Rivera. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present teacher. Zuleima okay. oh. Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, people. So let's continue. Antes de pasar a la otra actividad, before going right there, we are going to do a little review and you are going to give me that feedback, okay? To, and you are going to do it to all your classmates. Okay, now I'm going to share the first, the first um, slide that I want. Oh, that's still there. Siempre se me queda colgado, aunque hago esto. Y esto. I think it is okay now. Yes, it is. Okay, people. Juan Carlos, you are going to be our teacher right now. Excuse me? You are going to be our teacher. 
Ok. Va a ser nuestro maestro el día de hoy. Ok. So, please, explain to everyone this vocabulary. At least, o por lo menos, quizás vamos a hacer pronunciación. Usted les va a indicar cómo se pronuncia y ellos van a repetir, ok? I think that will be better. Yeah? There you are. Ok. Start, Juan Carlos, please. Street. 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 Next. Street. Avenue. 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 East, Cuando lo pronunciamos el solito, este oh. TH sí es SAUT, con un sonido south. fuerte, ¿verdad? South. Pero si ya lo pronunciamos con otra palabra acá, ya se convierte en un sonido suave. Por ejemplo, South Carolina, yeah? South, um, south Street, South, the, the, we, do, we use this, the, 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 we do this sound that is soft when it is in companion with another word. Pero si es el solito, va a sonar south. Ok. Ok, then. Thank you very much, teacher Juan Carlos. There we go. And let's look at this. Ok. Let's look at these two questions and answers. Cuando pedimos direcciones, ok, podemos preguntar, where is, ok, o usar el verbo get, right? Podemos usar también el verbo go, right? The go verb. But the go and get have different um, meanings and ideas. And we're going to see that later. But at this moment, I'm going to read it first and you are going to uh, practice it later. So, excuse me, could you please tell me where is the post office? Let me see. The post office is next to the bank at the corner on 2nd and Sun Street, okay? Let me see. The post office is next to the bank at the corner or on 2nd and Sun Street. Okay. We have a number for that street and we have a name for the street. So in this case, we are talking about two different streets. Allá es bastante común, bueno, aquí también, que tenga un nombre o que tenga un número, yeah, para identificarse. Los números que utiliza, the numbers that we use for the streets are ordinal numbers, ordinal numbers. That is why, that is why we uh, use the abbreviations, right? Right beside to the number, okay? For example, second is two and D. So this is just to make the clarification. So now let's see the other one. Excuse me, how can I get to the bank? Excuse me, how can I get to the bank? Okay. Go on for two blocks. The bank is on the left. Okay. Da la idea como que no, no puso atención, vea, como llegar ahí al asunto. Pero no, they are completely different, different conversations. Okay, let's see the first conversation, please. Ana Delmi and Silvio. 
Silvio, ask the question and Annie, uh, perdón, Ana Delmi, la respuesta, the answer. Excuse me, could you please tell me where is the post office? Ana Delmi? Could you please read the answer, Ana Delmi? I think she's having problems with the audio, right? Do you hear the interference? Hable, Ana Delmi. Hola. Okay. Excuse me, es que no escucho mucho. Oh, okay. No problem. No problem. Just stay there. Stay still. Don't worry. Keep calm there. Now, let's see. Who wants to read the answer? Ana Cristina wants. Yeah, she wants to read the answer. She told me. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Let me see. The post office is next to the bank. At the corner on second and soon street. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Now the next, the next um, conversation, please, Giovanni Alexander, uh, both Giovanni Pineda and Giovanni Ramirez, please. Okay, excuse me, how can I get to the bank? No, for two blocks. The bank is on the left. Thank you very much. These are two options, how to ask or how to request for directions, okay? These are two different options. And our manuals, we have another. Uh, we have a little conversation and it's very important, but I just wanted you to see that we can use this question, how can I get to, okay? How can I get to, es sumamente común, Okay, es sumamente práctica, and you can use it to request or ask for directions. Now let's go to our manuals now. Oh, I'm going to show you some questions using how can I get, okay? Remember that we, we uh, need to be polite. When we uh, want to talk to a stranger, we are a tourist or we are tourists in that place. So we have to use this word. It's very important. Okay. Excuse me, that's to call the attention, right? Como para llamarle la atención a la persona de que yo voy a hablar. Excuse me, right? Excuse me, no lo voy a decir, right? We're gonna say, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, how can I get to the airport, okay? Let's read the other one. Please, everyone, activate your audio and I'm going to listen to you reading these sentences. The next one. Excuse me. How can I, can I get to the bus station? Excuse me, how can I get to the bus station? Okay, great. Excuse me, how can I get to the bus station? Thank you very much. Now let's read the other one using excuse me too, right? The next one. Excuse me, how can I get to the Grand Hotel? Grand Hotel. Excuse me, how can I get to the Grand Hotel? Okay. Excuse me, how I came to the Grand Hotel? Okay. Kevin Antonio, I want to hear you. How oh, okay. can I get to the gas station? Thank you. Just remember that you have to say, excuse me, right? Excuse me, how uh -huh. can I get to the gas, gas station? Yes, thank you. Okay, next one, everyone, please open your mics. Your excuse me, how can I get to the gas store? Thank you. Excuse how me, can how I can I get, get to the, the drugstore? Drug 
This is the last one. Excuse me, how can I get to the bank? Okay, there you are. Now let's continue and let's remember now the imperatives, okay? Go straight, go straight. It means that you don't have to stop, just follow the same direction that you are taking. Go straight. It seems as if you are going to fly, right? Okay, go straight. A ver, desactivemos los audios, chicos. Por favor, un momentito. Thank you. Thank you. Now, what about the next one? Go past. Go past. Go past. Imagine if you are in this big city. Imagine if you are visiting this big city. I think it is New York. Okay, let's say that this is New York. But imagine they tell you, uh, Mm, walk down the street or go on for two blocks with all these people right in the in the sidewalks right oh my god walking over there or driving over there can you imagine in this picture yeah it's kind of difficult right so go past turn left turn right go up go down the street go up the street go down the street walk down the street Go on for two blocks. Take the first left, take the first right. Okay, this was just to remember and let's go back to our manners. Okay, ya tenemos el vocabulario, ¿verdad? Ahora vamos a hacer una conversación, right? Ya tenemos que armar la conversación. We have to create a conversation. And let's see a little one as an example. Okay. Let's see a little one as an example here. Asking for and giving directions. This is the activity here. Okay. Let's remember that we are in unit four and our unit four is called travel plans. It's about travel plans. Now we are in the city that we are visiting and then we say, good morning. Could you give me directions to the nearest hotel? Good morning. Could you give me directions to the nearest hotel? Esta pregunta es bastante formal, extremadamente formal, bastante académica y muy educada. Yo les aconsejaría que lo usaran, ¿verdad? Pero muchas veces la persona que lo escucha no tiene todo el tiempo para una pregunta tan larga, ¿right? Una pregunta como, how can I get, right? Excuse me, how can I get to, yeah? But we can use this formal thing. Right? So, good morning. Could you give me directions to the nearest hotel? Okay. Nearest, this is a very interesting word. It's a superlative. Okay. Es un superlativo. Yeah. Y lo que nos está indicando es más cercano. Yeah. Más cercano. Nearest 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 yes. we could ask for another place too right nearest 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 yes nearest esto viene de la palabra near okay near yeah Near is cerca. Nearest is más cerca. Right? 
Is it okay, guys? Okay. Good morning. Could you give me directions to the nearest hotel? Good morning. Sure. Walk down the street and turn left. Thank you. No problem. Good morning. Could you give me directions to the nearest hotel? Good morning, sure. Walk down the street and turn left. Thank you. No problem, okay? Here will be, thank you, right? No problem. Hablando con entonación. So I want to hear speaker A, please, uh, will be Kevin Antonio and Speaker B is going to be Kevin Daniel. Good morning. How do you give me direction to the nearest hotel? Uh, good morning. Sure. Walk down the street and turn left. Thank you. No problem. Good. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay, then now we, we have an example how to use the vocabulary that we learned already, okay? Let's remember, we are going to use a very polite language like, like using could, yeah? As the one I show you over there, could you please tell me where is, right? Where is the bank? Where is the supermarket? Where is, but we used could you, right? Could you? because it's a very polite request, the one that we are going to do. So now, one second. We have this, I want to open this thing a little bit. These places, okay? They have these places. What places are there? Uh, it says bank, ATM. Which one is this one? Gas station. Gas station. What is this one? Place? Okay. And what other place is this one? Hotel, Hotel right? Hotel. Okay, we are okay. going to, yes, we are going to draw a map, okay? And we are going to choose a location for the places in the picture, or, or I'm sorry, for in your maps. Vamos a, a dibujar un mapa y ustedes van a encontrar o van a hacer, van a colocar estas, eh, estos lugares a su gusto, ¿verdad? Ahora. Como van a estar trabajando en parejas, cada uno va a hacer su mapa, ¿ya? Y luego, ¿cómo va a dibujar el otro su mapa? ¿Ya? O ¿cómo le va a decir a la otra persona para que pueda dibujar su mapa? O sea, es así, permitan. Es así, usted dibuja el mapa, uno de ustedes, ¿ya? El otro también va a tener que dibujar el mapa, pero guessing, ¿ok? pero ubicándolo, ¿ya? Yeah? You see? Here, write simple directions for your partner to find the places in your map, okay? Can't see you guys. Okay, nos vamos a ir al breakout room. We are going to split into groups and First of all, one of you are going to draw a map, okay? Then when you have your map, okay, uh, you are going to write some directions about the places that you have in your map. Then you are going to give the directions to your partner, okay? Using the example of the conversation that we read already okay could you please give me directions how to get to or um to the gas station for example 
Or you can use, excuse me, how can I get to the restaurant? Ok, pueden utilizar todo el vocabulario que hemos visto. Ahora bien, lo bueno sería que los dos dibujaran su mapa, ya, yeah? un mapa cada uno como para ubicar y que los dos escribieran sus eh, instrucciones, I mean, sus directions. Y después que ya tengan eso, ustedes van haciendo para encontrarlo, ya. Yeah? Preguntas, van haciendo preguntas para encontrar los lugares, ya. Yeah? Correcto. Si ¿Sí se ubican. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. I'm going to stop sharing at this moment. Yes, the first one is an ATM. Mm -hmm. Yes, the first one is an ATM. ¿Cómo se escribe ATM? Yes, the first one is an ATM. Mm -hmm. A T A T M. M. Thank you. Okay, by the way, guys, do you know what does ATM mean? Do you know? Who knows? ATM. Do you know what does ATM stands for? ¿Saben qué significan esas tres letras? No. No. Automated. Oh, yeah, you're right. Thank you. Cajero automático. That's okay. Uh, yes, automated teller machine. Okay. Okay, I'm going to split you into the groups and then you write to get, I mean, you work together. En Google Maps o alguna imagen de, de mapa.
cuando iniciamos me avisan. Ya ubiqué los míos. Okay. Yo también. Teacher, I, I, I don't sure the down the street or up the street. What is the, the meaning? <laughs> is okay. that confused? Yeah, that was I was trying to explain because the concept is kind of different. We usually think about uh, pending, right? Uh, pendiente, oblicuo. Pensamos que, que va para arriba y mm -hmm. va para abajo. Pero usualmente, but usually it uh, refers to how far of the exit of that street you are, right? For example, if the entrance is here and the exit is here, okay, then you count from the entrance up, right? And down to the to the exit, right? To the exit. Okay. Pero en realidad, en realidad, si le dice go up, it depends on the location where you are asking or requesting for that direction. But yeah, go up, we think you have to physically go up, right? Yeah. O sea, nuestro concepto es así, y en muchas mm -hmm. ocasiones también es así, ¿verdad? Sí, sí queda claro, Silvio. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, sí, sí. ok. Ayer no pude hacer esa, esa, esa pregunta, teacher, la que le mandé por el, por el chat de la tarea. Oh, sí, yo lo voy a explicar. Lo que pasa es que ahí hay un glitch. O sea, se fue de más you. Ok, you, hay que escribir you at the beginning. Sí, porque yo, yo, hice, yo primero escribí las, las oraciones completas y todo medio malo. Ajá. Así, así decía la indicación. Ajá. De, después empecé como a probar y vi que algunas me las tomaba con este, solo poniendo la partecita del going to con el verbo. Ajá. Ok. Ajá. Pero hay una que a todos les daba malo, no sé si a usted le dio malo. Yo creo Are que eso es. To, like, to have. To, to have, going, yeah, are going to have a picnic. Entonces yes. ahí hay que ponerle you para que sí lo agarre. Okay. Lo voy a reportar ahora. Okay. 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 Thank you. Astrid o oh, Wendy, yo viene. Eh, ya casi. <laughs> Astrid, you finished. Sí, sí, sí. And Silvio too, right? Sí. So you may start and Wendy, uh, you know, joins later. Okay. Um, and the rest, restaurant. Listo, Silvio. Restaurant is down. Is down the street on the left. Si lo ubica. The restaurant uh, is left this one. Ah, no, perdón, perdón, le estaba dando el, el, el otro, el mío no, les, es, perdón, perdón, pues sería, eh, is around the corner. It's around the restaurant. Is this? Actually, this, sí, this. yes, yes. El, el que había hecho anterior estaba okay. dando. Uh, all, all place, the teacher. All, only one. No, all the places that you have down there in page, uh, this is page 43, and the next page. Sí, yes. I, 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 uh, no sé. Yes, you have one, two, todos. three, four, five. Yeah, or just one, and then you switch, one, and you switch. Yeah. Okay. 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 
Okay. Finish. Eh. <risa> Vaya, ok, Wendy. Díganos el suyo. Estamos usando este esquema, teacher. Ahí estamos ubicando los demás. Excelente. O sea, Excelente. Yeah. Porque, porque algunos es arriba y el otro es, es, es arriba aquí. Entonces lo estamos utilizando. Okay. Eh, solo les tengo que decir la pregunta. Sí. Como ubicarme. Ubicarnos. Es eh, don strip de strip on the left the left the left ah pero para para que sepan que qué es lo que yo puse <laughs> <Sí>. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Cómo le tendría que decir? Ah, bueno, entonces sería... Ok, if you have five, five places, right? For example, Silvio can ask, how can I get to the, excuse me, how can I get to the gas station? And then you give your direction and he is going to locate it over here on the map, right? Ok, ok. Well, you direction the bank. Called you direct to the bank. Okay. Okay. Okay, Wendy. No sé, me perdí. <risa> okay. En el mapa. <risa> Ajá, es que, eh, ¿cómo, para, ¿cómo decirle de que? Um... Wendy, use las que tiene aquí, mire, aquí arriba tiene unas oraciones. Use las de referencia para hacer las suyas. Ajá, es que le puse de, de a ATM is across the street. Sería acá. Queda donde. Y entonces, y de ahí la otra, la mía sería de gas station is down the street on the left. Sería aquí ATM. Ahí sería ATM. Uh -huh. de, de, across. De, de But gas remember, station. remember que across the street podría ser dependiendo de donde usted esté ubicado. Ok. Entonces partamos de dónde está ubicada haciendo la pregunta. For example, if Astrid said, uh, excuse me, could you please give me directions to uh, to get to where you did you say the bank, right? Did you say bank? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Where are bank. you located? Where are you located? Are you, are you located here at the hotel or are you located at the gas station, for example? This is using this uh, uh, mm -hmm. as an example. But if you tell her, right, de donde usted está ubicada, Yeah, it could be easier. Okay. Si yo estoy en el banco. Me quedaría la, la, de, 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 gas station is on the left. If on the left, sería acá. Yes. Acá. Yes. Ajá, ahí viene, sí. Ah, es que el punto de referencia dijimos que era aquí ATM, ¿verdad? 
que este es uh -huh. el, el, el entierro. Sería aquí el restaurant donde lo tiene Wendy. Ah, pero ahí en el en arriba del MTM tengo el gas station. Ajá, ajá, el gas station. But you are doing a very Bank? good job, guys. You are doing a very good job because you are just um, uh, assuming the places. But you are talking about only one or do you have three maps? Three maps. Three map. Okay, if three you three have map. three maps, uh -huh. si tiene tres mapas, por ejemplo, en el suyo, Wendy, En donde está tal cosa, es lo que vamos a querer saber, ¿verdad? How can I get to the bank in yours? ¿Cuál era el punto de referencia que dijeron? El, This one. NTM. El, NTM es el primerito uh -huh. de aquí. Ese no este va a ser el punto de parte. It sí, ese es para change. todos. No, ese no oh, ok, great, great. Now I understand what you're doing. Yeah, it was good, it was good. Pero la, la dinámica es que uno de nosotros le, le eh, anda buscando buscando, no sé, el restaurante, yo ando buscando el restaurante y le pregunto a Wendy dónde está y ella me tiene que dar la dirección en base a este punto de partida, ¿verdad? Exactly. Yes. Sí. Ok, ok. Entonces casi que nosotros te preguntamos, Wendy, este, y tenemos que adivinar a dónde, o tenemos que ubicar, no adivinar, va, sino que ubicarnos a dónde lo tienes. Ok. Ok. Estoy aquí. Ok. Vamos a ver, entonces si me pregunta por el restaurante, ya le voy a decir a dónde está. Uh, the restaurant y between uh, no, 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 no. Do, down the street. Down the street. Down the street. Acá. Restaurant. Okay. And this one. No. Pero, pero si el punto de partida es el este, estaría como... Ay, oh. um. Hey people, uh, I need to go to another room. They're calling me, so continue okay, working. You are good. You are doing a good job. You are going okay. to find a way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hello, teacher. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Okay. Okay. Pensábamos que era un Creo que sí. Bueno, veamos qué otro local del cajero. Another room. Continue working, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Veamos cajero. Cajero, ¿cómo que se decía, Ana Cristina? No me acuerdo. ATM. ATM. Hello, Carla. Hello, Carla. Hello, teacher. Me dijo Zuleima que la dejó solita. Sí, me dijo de que es el que ya estaba lloviendo, tal vez no se le cortaba la señal y eso me terminó de decir cuando se, oh, se salió. Ok, entonces la voy a sacar a otro grupo, ok. Bye, está bien. Ok.
ya había terminado. Entonces nos estamos preguntando dónde tenemos el banco. Excuse me, okay. I get to the bank. Okay. okay. Uh, a mí me están preguntando. Yes. Según mi mapa, the bank is around the corner. The bank is around the corner. Ahí lo tiene Alejandro también. ¿Me escuchan? ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Sí. Sí, ahí lo tiene Alejandro también. Yo lo tengo in front of consolidation. They know the, excuse me, could you please tell me where is the... Podríamos poner... Hi, teacher. Oh, ya he terminado. Sí. Hello. No, teacher. I'm still here. I'm with you guys in your room. Teacher, <laughs> it's raining very hard. Yes, uh, I can the, tell here the audio, it is raining The too. audio is... Okay. It's bad. The, my uh, map. <laughs> <laughs> nice so, map. Anna, the, the, this map. <laughs> okay, okay, great. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay, Anna del Carmen, give us uh, sí. to answer the, excuse the, me, the how the can excuse. I get to the bank? Uh, is this, is, vamos a ver dónde está, a dos cuadras más. Eh, this, this is oh, 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 to, oh, the bank to block uh, the bank the back bank mm -hmm. the bank is is to block puede ser <laughs> para, para use imperatives pues. use imperatives like go on to blocks right Go on. Go on to guess, block. In, in this case, uh, okay. Go on to block. Uh -huh. Or go straight to block. Go straight, yes. Uh, or go, go past the gas station, for example. Go past the restaurant. Okay. Ah, okay. The, the bank go is pass. on the left, right? Mm -hmm. Go past. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Go past the go gas past station. The the gas station. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O sea, que es un punto de referencia, gas station. Yes, yes. Because always we have this situation that we cannot order the idea because we don't know this person is located. I mean, for example, if you ask me, Carlos, you tell me, um, excuse me, how can I get to the restaurant? Then I'm going to okay. ask you, where are you located, mm -hmm. right? Because maybe you can tell Anna, I'm at the bank, okay? I'm at the bank. And there I'm going to ask Anna, excuse me, how can I get to the restaurant? From the bank, okay? Then you think this From is my, uh -huh. my point of reference, right? Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, eh, eh, si nosotros, eh, uh, uh, no, I commence, um, with, with us, uh, the check green, is point reference. Oh, okay. Uh, ah, the green but, check. But yes. Okay, that, great. Eh, 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 me, me parece mejor su idea, teacher. Podemos partir de ahí de donde nos quedemos, partir que de ahí y de ahí nos vamos a mover a otro lugar. Yeah, correct. There you are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay. Así lo Pero vamos a hacer. Hicieron, hicieron bien porque tomaron un punto de referencia. Al principio, como yo no sabía que ya tenían esta referencia, por eso les dije eso. Okay. Pero su punto de referencia está correcto. Entonces, partiendo de aquí, están diciendo las direcciones. Acordémonos que estamos en un primer encuentro, ¿verdad? Falta todavía okay. mucho más. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok, there you are. <laughs> Usted sí entiende bastante. 
Yo estoy dando vía, don Carlito. That's why I said, that's why I said, for women, this topic is kind of a, a mess, okay? <laughs> <laughs> y, y no es por discriminación ni por nada, pero realmente a nosotros las mujeres nos cuesta un poco ubicar. Nosotros sí no tenemos pena Bastante. de preguntar, pero, pero no nos ubicamos. <laughs> Dígamelo en español, me dicen. <risa> ok, guys. You are doing a good job. Yay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye, entonces quedaría, excuse me, how get to the back? Está ahora. Ajá, ajá. Así lo habíamos, Así lo habíamos este, como tres se habíamos tres hecho con Carla. No está viviendo con ustedes, que casi, que casi no. no. Aquí ya pasó. Aquí ya pasó. Aquí ya pasó. Okay. Okay. Yes, green alert. I remember. Yeah. Okay, people. Was this activity easy? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. <laughs> so, it's almost time to finish. Well, it's time already. It's 10 o'clock. So I, well, let me check here because I have three times. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. So I've got to take the attendance at this moment. Okay. And when we come back tomorrow, we are going to uh, present or share our, our work. Okay. Our jobs works. Ok. Estamos de acuerdo. Porque esta lluvia también les está dificultando a ustedes. Ok. Then we are going to take the attendance. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez. Present. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Carlos Eduardo. Okay, Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Present teacher. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Carlita, Carla. Present, teacher, okay. present. Okay, Kevin Antonio Ramirez Sánchez. Present. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Yvette Tova Rivera. Present, teacher. Thank you, Nancy. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present, teacher. Zuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Ana del Mi Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, then it's time. Yes, we are off the clock now. So let us meet tomorrow. Please do your homework, okay? And today's turn is for Giovanni Pineda, okay? 
So have a good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye, Ana Delmi. Okay, there we are. Do you have any question that I can help you with, Giovanni? The week one, two, three, four. Excuse me? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, you can tell me yeah, yeah. what is your, yeah, your question. I mean, what can I help you with? Okay. Okay. Y quizás de todo lo que tengo una consulta es que me quedó así como que la finita. Cuando usar eh, responsible, cuando usar charge, cuando usar accountant. In charge of, no. in accountable to. Sí. Okay. Sí, lo sentí muy similar todo. They are similar. They are wow. similar. Yes. But this is the situation. Remember that when you, we use two, okay, at the end of this, um, of these phrases, como es una preposición, ¿verdad? Two, la idea que nos da es a hacia, ¿verdad? And four, que sería la otra, ¿verdad? responsible for, son es, cosas específicas como diciendo de, pero en realidad sería como yo soy responsable de esto, esto, esto y esto, cosas, right? Responsible for and accountable to, ¿ves? Do you see the difference between the two uh, prepositions? In this case, responsible for are the responsibilities that are in your uh, um, role process or role definition, role description, right? So, but if you use accountable to, it means you are talking about who is your manager or who do you report to, okay? Who's your boss? So let's go and I'm going to show you again from the slides. Uh, some, well, at, at least two, two examples, okay? And there you are going to find out why they feel similar, okay? Now, let me share the screen with you, but I'm going to look it up, okay? Let me look it up first. I okay. can use mm -hmm. I can use a countable to and a countable for or yeah uh, a countable to usually a countable to usually a countable to but I think I think you could use it well uh, let me let me think about that okay let me think about that and let let, let me make up my mind in this thing Okay, here we have the examples, okay. Here we have some examples with responsible for. Here we are talking about the activities that you have to do because that's your job, okay. Mm -hmm. So, for example, we say, who is responsible for, okay, responsible for, es una frase entera, responsible for, Keeping track of the financial records. Ah, estamos viendo a quién le corresponde esta responsabilidad, ¿verdad? Who is responsible for keeping track? ¿Cuál es la responsabilidad? Keeping track of the financial records. And let's see yes. that the answer is the accounting department is. Okay, the accounting department is. Now let's see this. 
this one. If we are talking about a person, right? We use responsible for too. Are you responsible for closing the store? That's a responsibility of someone, right? In the company, so no, I'm not. It's a negative answer. The store manager is. The store manager is. Ya aquí es una persona, ¿verdad? Aquí era un departamento. Es una persona. Okay. Responsibilities. Que están descritas en su manual, ¿verdad? De, de responsabilidades. Is your boss responsible for? Responsible for. Do you see together? Calling potential clients? No, she isn't. I am responsible for hunting for new clients. Okay, then we are talking about responsibilities of my own job or the job of someone else. Now, let's see the difference with responsible to. Okay, we have responsible to. I era responsible for, ¿verdad? Yes. Para hablar de responsabilidades de mi trabajo. Here we are talking about who is my boss or de quien depende mi relación, o sea, mi, re, mi relación jerárquica, ¿verdad? ¿Quién está arriba de mí? ¿A quién le tengo yo que reportar? Who are you responsible ah, arriba, to? Arriba, no, yes. No, abajo, arriba. Okay, arriba. no. You are, tú estás abajo de esa persona, del mando de esa persona. Usted está al mando de esa persona. I mean, Bajo el mando de esa persona. Who are you responsible to? I'm responsible to the marketing management. Okay. Mi trabajo depende de reportarle a la gerencia de mercadeo. ¿Verdad? Okay. I'm responsible to. ¿Ve la diferencia que I are responsible for? Responsibilities. Responsible to who is my boss. Okay. Who is my boss? Now we have another, let me check here if I get it. Uh, this is responsible too. Uh -huh. I am responsible to the marketing management. Management, she is my boss. Yes, the marketing management is the es la unidad de donde depende mi trabajo y a quienes yo les rindo cuenta, ¿verdad? Yo estoy bajo esa rinden, mando. Y los que me rinden cuenta. Ah, uh, your employees, subalterns, yes, yes. subalterns. Uh, well, I manage, I supervise, I ya es una cuestión directa, okay? For example, they are accountable to me or they are responsible to me, right? That I am the supervisor, no. right? But yeah, it doesn't, I mean, for example, for example, you are my employee, for example, okay? You are my employee and I ask you, who are you responsible to? And I'm your boss, okay? I'm responsible to you, right? And I'm responsible to you, yeah? Ahí es donde si usted le dice, bueno, usted es mi jefe, okay? I'm responsible to you. Okay, yeah. eso lo vimos en un diálogo, no sé si recuerda el diálogo en el manual, permítame, quiero ver que teníamos otra, otro ejemplo de... Ah, este es otro. Bueno, usted me dijo in charge of in charge of is similar a responsible for. Okay? Okay. In charge of is similar a responsible for. Eh, sinónimo. Eh, yes, like a synonym, but a synonym, but it is. Um, sí, lo puede usar prácticamente indiferente. Aunque, hablando de responsabilidades, ¿verdad? Las dos van a definir, pero en realidad, por ejemplo, si usted habla de que mi departamento está encargado de esto. Okay. My department is in charge of track, I mean, taking the tracks, okay, or, or keeping tracks of the record financial, financial, I'm sorry. Ahora, si, por ejemplo, but I am in charge of 
the sales report, okay? That I am in charge of the sales report. O si lo, o sea, si lo está diciendo todo junto, no va a volver a repetir la misma frase, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Puede ser Entonces, indiferente en ese caso, en ese caso, okay? Okay. Entonces, preposition to is eh, para department o eh, algún cargo y preposition for... O una persona también, o una persona, oh, por ejemplo, person. si me dice, who are you responsible to? Uh, Mr. Acevedo, he is my boss, right? Okay. So you can, you can say. Mm -hmm. Okay. E for is activity. For are the responsibilities. Yeah, activities. Yes, tasks. Tareas, okay. tasks. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Yes. And now we have the other that it is similar. Committed to. Committed to. Okay. Committed to is also pursuing an objective. Or I'm sorry, an ob yeah, an objective. Yeah, a goal, a goal. So in this case, for example, uh, well, the examples that I show you here, that I show you here are like in the big place, for example, the founder, right, of the organization, it's like the head of the organization, but he is committed to, okay, this is his goal, okay, his, um, it's a responsibility from the foundation, but he is committed to that goal. Okay? Está comprometido, right? Committed, committed to. Y tenemos la otra que era dedicated to. Dedicated to the main activity. This is the main activity. The one that describe your job, the one that describe the main task or the main activity of your organization, of your company or of your job, okay, of your department. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it is a person, it doesn't matter if it's a, an organization, but you can use dedicated to, okay? For example, I am dedicated to teach, uh, I'm sorry, to teaching, uh, we could say um, people who work in administration, right? I am committed to uh, with, I mean, I committed to teaching English to children, okay? For example, yeah. But it's the main activity. For example, if I say to children, you are going to think that I don't teach to adults, right? Because that's my main activity. Or if I say to A and B, I'm sorry, to BA, for example, business administration people, okay? Then you are going to think that I don't teach children or I don't teach any other kind of population. So it's the main activity, dedicated to yeah. and committed to. So but at the moment, I think we have all, but just let me see in the manual because in the manual, we had another thing, a very interesting thing. Uh, just let me go there. Is it okay till here? Yes. So far? Okay, just let me go here. So far, so far. <laughs> Great. Okay, here we go. If it is okay now, yeah. Just let me go back. Tenemos una tablita ahí que viene de gramática. Esas tablitas son muy importantes. Porque define lo que estamos diciendo, lo define en palabras bien, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Resumidas. Oh my 
gate here. Here. Here we have in charge of, responsible for. Okay, here we have. This is like a summary, okay? If you see after prepositions like for or of, and expressions as be responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for, be committed to, be dedicated to, okay? We are going to express here, okay, activities, activities, yeah? Activities. Now, let's see this one. To talk about your responsibilities, use be responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for. Now, to say who you report to, use be responsible to and be accountable to. Entonces, las que llevan to, estas dos frases son para decir nuestro jefe, ¿verdad? Y esto es para decir nuestras responsabilidades. ¿Ok? Yeah. Are we okay, ok so far? Yes. Sí. Ok. Is there anything else that I can help you with? Eh, no more. Only, only question. Only that? Only. Okay, great. Yes, es que, bueno, eh, es que era confuso, sí, le entendí, pero eh, no le llama mucho la lógica. Uh, yes, eh, because in yo, our language it's completely different. Sí. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, thank you. No problem. My pleasure, Giovanni. So let us meet tomorrow, okay? Remember okay. to do your homework. Okay. Okay, bye, Giovanni. Bye. Eh, eh, Tell me. Eh, oh, is she, is she good night? <laughs> who, who, who? Eh, good night. Oh, oh, is today if? Oh, oh. Para decir, oh, is she? Bueno, no, oh, is she good night? Okay, now, yes. Now, yeah, now. Finally, now, yes. Now, now, yes. Yes. Now, yes, good night. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Good night. Bye.